Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show we're taking a look at the 2020 release, the Hasbro Plasma Series Ghostbusters Ray Stance. Listen, you smell something? For those of you who keep up to date on the videos released on this channel, you saw where we first did a uh, showcase of all the figures in the series, and last time we did, we looked at Peter Venkman, and today we're looking at Ray Stance. Over the next, over the course of the next few weeks, we'll be taking a look at Egon Spangler, Winston Zeddemore, Dana Barrett, Gozer, and the Terror Dog Vince Clortho. Uh, and as I've said before, videos are only published on this channel or on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so this will take place over the course of the next few weeks. With this being Tuesday, we're looking at Ray Stance. Uh, Thursday, we'll be taking a look at Egon, and it'll go on from there. Uh, as you can see from the back of the boxes, this is the order we will be doing them in, with Vince Clortho actually being last. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at Ray Stance. First, we'll move him out of the way, and we'll take a look at the packaging. Uh, as you can see here, you got the uh, flight suit style box design with the Ghostbusters logo there. You got his pa his name badge there, Plasma Series 4 and up Hasbro. Uh, inside you have a nice little display image uh, backdrop of uh, blueprints for the Proton Pack, the Neutrino Wand, uh, the Ecto-1, and so on. On the side here, you got a nice little art deco design of all four Ghostbusters. And then on the back, Ray stands, the heart of the team. Ray's ready and more than willing to bust some ghosts. And then so on in different languages. We'll go ahead and move that out of the way. They do come in clip. They do come in clamshells. Uh, you have the main mold here, and then a lid fits on over it. And it comes with the rear, I want to say the rear left leg. Yeah, the rear left leg of the Terror Dog, I believe. They don't really make these that clear in the uh, Build-A-Figure image. But we'll be going over that whenever we go over Vince Clortho. So here's Ray, and he does come with his Ecto goggles, as you can see here. They are removable, which we'll go ahead and do, hopefully without breaking it. It is a soft, rubbery plastic, so it should stretch quite a bit, but not too much, just enough to get it over the hair. And this is a really nice likeness of uh, Dan Aykroyd. Uh, he does look a lot more like Dan Aykroyd than... Peter Venkman's uh, figure did of Bill Murray. So we'll go ahead and go over uh, the proton pack. As you can see, the wand does fit on the proton pack. There is a little uh, peg there that fits into that notch right there. Now later I'll show you how to put them into the hands of the Ghostbusters, and that is the most difficult part. Uh, other than with Ray, the one of the other most difficult parts is putting his proton pack on and strapping it in, which it looks like it came out of the peg hole. Yeah, it's not really wanting to, there we go. Uh, as you can see, he is a little bit bulkier in the abdomen. Uh, so it doesn't really want to stay snapped on there that well unless you take the peg out of his back. Um, see, that's, that's as far as it'll snap in because of his gut. Now we'll go ahead and unhook that, and I'll show you how to take it off. Just unplug it from the back, just like that. Slide his head out from that arm there. And now we'll go ahead and take a look 
at the proton pack. And it does stand up fairly well. Uh, and as you can see, just like with Peter's, only one of the uh, cylinders or whatever they are uh, is red to show the moving lights. His is the lower uh, left hand corner. So we'll go ahead and zoom in on that so you guys can take a look in depth at the Proton Pack for just a minute. All right, so the uh, hose for the Proton Wand is a softer, flexible plastic. Uh, however, my concern is that it will become brittle over time and eventually break. So for right now, we're just going to move that, clip that on there and move it to the side and we'll take a look at the articulation on Ray Stance. So all the Ghostbusters have the same articulation. Uh, Ray's head can look up that far. He can look down that far. Uh, he can spin it around. Um, the collar does kind of hinder it a little bit, but it doesn't stop it. Uh, the arm can go up that far. It's on a ball joint hinge, so it can go up that far with the hinge, rotate all the way around on the ball joint, he has a bicep swivel right, right there, which likes to move with the uh, shoulder swivel. He has a double uh, elbow joint, which gets him that far, and they are tight. Uh, and I know I forgot to mention this in the uh, Peter Venkman review, uh, but they do have wrist swivel. Uh, has a hinge on the uh, by the thumb and the underside of the uh, hand so it can swivel up and down like that I know how that looks guys <laughs> um, and rotate all the way around now he does have waist articulation and spin all the way around and the belt is a separate piece of plastic which is connected by the uh, yellow hose to the leg. Uh, his leg also has thigh swivel, as you can see, and double knee joint, which again is really tight. I'm really worried about breaking one of these. Ooh. Now, for Ray, in the uh, movies, his belt should have actually been a little higher up. Uh, because if you notice by Dan Schoening's artwork in the comics from, uh, was it um, IDW Publishing, uh, his belt does sit a little bit higher. It actually makes him look like he's got a bigger butt than what he does. <laughs> Um, and you can see that in the uh, movies as well. No, I don't make it a point or a habit to look at people's butts. Uh, but considering they show Ray from behind quite a bit in the movies and in the comic series, it's difficult not to notice. Now, he also does have ankle articulation. Uh, it has a hinge that can go up and down. And a rocker to the side and the other side. Um, it can almost go all, uh, 180 degrees. I'd say maybe about 160 degrees around. And there's the articulation for Ray. And to get his ecto goggles on, as you can see, there's the nose part on the bottom. You mainly want to put the front on first and then bring the strap around because of his big 80s hair <laughs> it does get a little difficult 
So there's that. And now we'll go ahead and put his proton pack on. Uh, to put it on, you basically extend this arm through. And then you put Ray's head through there. And there's a peg on the inside of the proton pack that fits right into that hole there. And it plugs right in there just like that. Then you bring this part around and see Ray's is a little bit harder than the other guys because of his gut. And it should just snap in. They really, they use the same proton pack for all the figures. Uh, so they didn't really take into account for Ray's gut. But there's that. And then his proton wand. The fingers are, it's difficult, really difficult to get the hands to hold on to the uh, proton wand or neutrino wand, whichever you like to call it. I prefer calling it the proton wand because I believe that is what they call it in the animated, in the uh, real Ghostbusters animated series. Now for this, you got to slide the hose, the wires, whatever you want to call it to the uh, proton wand through his hand first and then slide it in try to without breaking it just like that and now this part is even more difficult trying to do it without pulling the other hand out just like that and there is Ray from the 2020 Ghostbusters Hasbro Plasma Series. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you tune in on Thursday when we take a look at Egon Spangler. I've been Shannon. This has been Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon from Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.